The previous movie dealt with the setup of an apartment project, uh, given the templates of the apartments and the designs and so on. This one takes you on to the build phase where you're actually putting real apartments and designs in and then going on and doing check measures and so on. So obviously the first thing to do is to select the, uh, the site. In this case, I'm switching to a different one, um, but the same principles apply. So um, find the apartment that uh, you want to use as the basis for the, uh, for the one you're going to create. So in this case, a type A. Um, click on the duplicate button, put in the actual apartment number and don't be tempted to put in apartment A or A101 or anything like that um, because it, the A will be added to the job number as it's created as it suffixes the, uh, the, the apartment number to the job number. So literally just the number of the apartment to go in there and click save. And what it'll do is create that apartment based on apartment type A and we'll add all of the designs that are in the apartment type A template to that new apartment. So if we now select that new apartment 101, you'll see that it's also got that same, same robes and shower screens attached to it. And as you can see, it's created the job numbers with the usual unique number at the beginning, and then A for apartment 101, and then B1, bed two, because it was named bed two, main en suite, and so on. But you start to see why it's quite important to use, use ES if you can, or main, or just B2, to keep these numbers as short as possible. Okay, so you'll obviously work your way through the apartments that have, uh, are ready for check measuring or whatever point in the process you're creating the real apartments. Uh, select the, the next template type you want to build one from, duplicate, put in the actual number, save it, and then work your way through all of them. You'll notice that as they've come up, they're coming up with the stages of to be designed. Uh, so it's a subtle difference to active quote. Um, and it's like that because uh, you don't want to be accidentally ordering something that you haven't check measured. So before you can actually order these jobs, you need to go out into the um, each individual job, obviously put the real dimensions in and resave them, so they then become um, active quote status. And once you're at that point, then you can actually order the jobs en masse. So I won't bore you with the, that process now, because I'm sure you understand how to do that. Um, but once they're all of an active quote status, if you then come back to the main area here, you have a list of all the apartments in the project that have been created, including the, the um, template ones as well, which obviously you can ignore. Um, so to order all the designs of a particular apartment, you just click it in the list and then click order designs for selected apartments. And it'll actually go through and set all of those um, rooms, all of those designs to an ordered status for you. Okay, that finishes this tutorial. Um, and that basically should take you through all of the, uh, the stages you need to go through. So any questions, give me a call.